everyone, welcome to the Dog Mom Knits YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and you can find me on Instagram as Dog Mom Knits, on Ravelry as Dog Mom Knits 08. And we do have an email address for this channel and that is dogmomknits at gmail.com. This is podcast episode 33, I believe. It is going to be a podcast slash vlog, um, similar to the one that I posted last week. Well, last week from when I'm recording this, it is January 20th. Um, let me finish my introduction. <laughs> I'm coming to you from coastal Virginia, where I live with my husband, Sean, our two dogs, Copper and Finley, and our two exchange students, Simon, who is from the Czech Republic, and Lorenzo, who is from Italy. Thank you so much to everybody that is a new subscriber. I have had this big surge of subscribers lately, and I am just in awe and feel so very blessed that you guys are here. Um... When I sit down to talk to the camera and um, I'm talking about my knitting, this is Finley, um, I feel like I'm just talking to my friends. Like I have a little knit group here um, on my corner of YouTube and I am so grateful that you guys have joined our little knit group is basically the way it feels. So thank you so much um, if you are new. Um, and just checking out the channel. Thank you for checking us out. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me a little bit. I really do appreciate every like, every subscribe, every comment. Like they mean so, so much to me more than, I don't know, more than I feel like I can put into words. I don't know. I have words to explain how much you guys mean to me. So, um, we do have a lot of new people, so I wanted to make sure I got through my entire introduction today because I'm usually pretty good about forgetting something. Um, like I said, it is Saturday, January 20th. I did have a work thing this morning, so I was up bright and early drinking all the coffee, um, but I'm home now. It is 1.17 p.m., and we are tackling that. <laughs> right there all the yarn I organize my yarn stash by weight um, so fingering weight then DK sport weight worsted weight um, I have a lot of scraps that I don't use but I don't want to get rid of them it's very strange but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. That is what we are tackling today. If you watched podcast episode 30, I'm pretty sure it was 32, I showed you guys my maker's notebook um, from Making Treasures. This will be linked down below. If they don't have any more of the books, then I will have the shop linked down below. But I showed last um, on the last episode how I was using the project pages to keep track of my whips. Um, I have 18 um, projects on the needles and um, I went through all of them and I made project pages for all of them. Sorry, Finley is right here. <laughs> so my arm is like over top of her. Um, but I wrote down all the notes and all the information about each project. So they are all here. Um, one of the things I did not talk about is it does have a ribbon bookmark but I love that it has two so I talked last week about how I don't have really big goals for 2024 because I always set really big goals and then I get down on myself when I don't when I don't make them when I don't achieve the goals um so my word for this year sorry I'm grabbing something to show you. My word for this year is free. So I hopped onto Etsy and found somebody that made stickers. And I had this sticker made. This is going to be my life verse this year to go with my um, word of the year. So my word of the year is free. I'm using Galatians 5.1. It is for freedom that you have been set free. And I added some definitions in here. 
um, to help me really understand this verse because this is not a verse that I have always understood in my life. Um, which is interesting that this is the one I was drawn to. <laughs> That's okay. That's how God works. He reveals things to us as we need to hear them. And I, you know, love him for that. So I'm being a little more loose, a little more free with my goals for the year. Um, I want to finish some of my whips. I'm not saying that I'm not going to cast anything on. I'm not saying that I'm not going to cast anything on until all of my whips are done. Um, I just want to finish some whips. Any of them. <laughs> I'll take any of them. <laughs> finish anything. And then the second kind of loose goal is I want to knit from stash. So that's what that is. It is all stash. Um, there's a heck of a lot of sock yarn over there. Um, heck of a lot of yarn in general over there. And um, there is a spot in the maker's notebook in the back. That's where the second, um, the second bookmark is going to be marking. And there are stash pages. And I love this. So it organizes it by brand and base. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it by weight. So I'm going to have a page, well, probably more than one page of fingering weight yarn. And then I'm going to have a page of DK sport weight yarn. And then I'll have a page of worsted weight yarn. Um, I'm not putting my scraps in here. These are going to be whole skeins of yarn. Um, and I'm going to write them all down. I'm going to write the colorways down. How many skeins of it I have. Um, and there's like a notes spot here. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use that just yet. Unless there's something that I want to make with it. Like if I know I already have a project in mind, I might go ahead and like make a note for that yarn. But really, I just want a record of what I have. Because I love these containers, these bins. I got these at Target years ago and I love them they're so great but the problem is that I put the yarn in there and then I forget what's in there and then I buy yarn and I'm like it arrives and then I add it to the bin and then I go through it months later and I'm like wow I have like two of the same skeins from two different dyers so I'm going to be pulling out all my yarn excuse me, deciding whether I'm going to keep it or de-stash it. I think I'm going to end up keeping most of it because I'm just not in a brain space for hard decisions today. Um, and that's okay. I'm not, I don't need to make hard decisions today um, or big decisions today. I just need to get organized. And if something really jumps out at me, like I'm not going to ever knit with this, this is not interesting to knit with, then I'll get, you know, then I'll de-stash it. But really today, I just want it organized and I want it in my notebook. So we're going to start with the fingering weight yarn. I'm going to try to set you guys up so that you can see me, but ultimately that may not work. Um, it may not work out that you end up seeing me. It may just be that the next time you see me, I'm already done. <laughs> and we'll just see how much I can get done today. But yeah, we're going to start with that fingering weight yarn. That sucks. and see what we have. So the first thing I did was I know I'm going to need, because I can tell, because the fingering weight yarn won't close those three bins right there. That's fingering weight yarn. They will not close. So I knew I needed an extra bin and I had my DK weight scraps or chunkier yarn weight scraps in there. So I moved those to this bin that I have from 31 and I put all of my fingering weight scraps in here this is now full so I need to either get a bigger bin or decide what I'm going to do with scraps that is future Amanda's problem but if you have an idea for scraps let me know I am not a knitter of scraps like in here is a cozy memory blanket. I think you can see like pieces of it right there. Um, I do not keep up with that. I do not enjoy knitting with scraps. But I don't know what to do with them. Like what do you do with 
half skeins of yarn that are perfectly fine, you just already knit a pair of socks out of them. So if you have any ideas, please leave them down in the comments because I would appreciate the help. But now I'm going to go grab the fingering weight yarn and start sorting it out. fingering weight yarn this is sock yarn and sock tubes or excuse me sock sets and sock tubes this is just sock yarn in general this is also just sock yarn in general and then this is fingering weight but not socks because it either doesn't have nylon or um I know particularly for that yarn, I don't want to use it for socks, which is what this is, this Hamilton mini skein that I got from Molly Klein Designs. So these four are done. I'm going to eat some lunch and then I'm going to write them into my maker's notebook because I know these are going to take the most time because this is what I have the most of. I am also going to include like... This is in the light purple bin, this is in the cream bin, this is in the pink bin, this is in the blue bin. So that way, when I look back through my notebook, if I'm like, oh, right, that color, where did I put that? I'm going to remember where it is. So I'm going to eat some lunch and then I'm going to start writing down in my notebook and I'll check back in with you guys after I've made some progress. <music> show you guys the sweatshirt that I am wearing today. I thought this was very fitting. It says yarn nerd on it. And since I knew I was going to go through my yarn today, I thought that would be kind of fun. So I have finished going through all of the fingering weight yarn, all the sock yarn and will not be socks <laughs> yarn. I do have some yarn here in front of me. This is all of my Christmas yarn. I separated it and I'm going to organize that into two of these bins because I have nowhere else to put it and sit it on top of my yarn storage area over there. I wasn't sure what else to do with it and I don't really want it mixed in with the other yarn because then I end up not knowing where it is and not knowing. Anyway, I don't knit with it because I can't find it. <laughs> um, I think I told Sean this past Christmas was very overwhelming for me with the advent that I was doing and the pattern that I chose to do. Um, I loved the yarn that I got from Castle View Yarns and I loved the Lamina wrap that I am knitting with it. But December is just so busy and there's no way for me to keep up. Um, and I put a lot of pressure on myself. <laughs> From the amount of times I keep saying that in this video. So I think what I'm going to do next year is either just order a self-striping skein of sock yarn or I'm going to use stash yarn to make one of the kind of four Sundays of Advent where you open a different sock set every um, Sunday but use my like use my yarn that I already have. So, um, I haven't added that in to my book, but I will. Um, I have, I took pictures. I think you guys would have seen them already based on how this video is coming together in my head. But I have all of my yarn, all the fingering weight yarn written down. I do not have it in me to do 
the rest of it, but there is minimal left. I only have three bins of non fingering weight yarn and they are not full. So I'm going to write down the Christmas yarn, get that put over next to the bin. Oh, I didn't say. So if you watched the video where I talked about my projects um, and when I wrote my projects in the, in my maker's notebook, every project in here is a different color because I love that and I think that's really fun. For the yarn, what I decided to do is just write the yarn in black. I closed it without having the bookmark in place. Um, just in black and then anything that I buy this year, um, <laughs> I will add to the book in a different color. So that way I can see when I go to knit with it, like, did I buy it this year or did I buy it um, in a previous year? Uh, as part of my Christmas yarn, I have one acquisition that I need to, um, I want to show you guys because you guys haven't seen it. Um, this is a skein of yarn from Ruby and Roses. That is not showing up because it's still in this bag. So, what is it? I apologize for the crinkling. She kept posting about it on Instagram and I was trying so hard to say no. <laughs> and I just couldn't do it. Uh, the ultimate thing that's, that solidified for me that I needed this. He's not listening to me. Let me see if I can get him to take his headphones off. Simon, can you listen to this story? Hmm? Can you listen to my story? Why? Okay, because I want you to hear it. I haven't had a chance to tell you yet. Mm -hmm. The solidifying of me buying this <laughs> is because it is stunning and it is gorgeous. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that is so pretty. It is called Christmas Market. And the reason I got it, the final like, okay, I have to have that, is because she posted the inspiration picture. And the inspiration picture for this yarn was a Christmas Market in Prague. I got a big smile from my son over there. Why? Why why does that matter to you? I don't know. I don't know. Are you from Prague? No. Oh, close enough? No. No. Eight, You're not from twenty minutes away from Prague? No. No. no? Italy. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Italy. You're from you're the one from Italy and mm -hmm. I have my sons confused. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. Her yarn is so beautiful. I cannot even with all these like speckles. <laughs> so I said no until I saw that this was based on a market, a Christmas market in Prague. And I was like, I'm going to be needing this. I'm putting it with the Christmas yarn. I'm not touching it until Christmas. And I really, as of right now, watch this space because I could change my mind. But I think I am going to do the four Sundays of Advent being four different pairs of socks and using my yarn. If I do that, okay, let's just, let's just see. If I do that, So, if I do the four Sundays of Advent with yarn I already have, this, I think this would be the four. Ruby and Rose's Christmas Market. Mick Knits. This is called, oh, come on, Amanda. Oh, this is called Ribbon Candy. This is Tia Ter Tia's Terrific Threads Sock Mist. Like one of the previous years when the Sockmas um, make along happened. And then this is Tia's Terrific Threads and it's called Waiting for Santa. So, not saying that's what I'm going to do. But it might be the advent this year is these four winter pair socks. Just to make December a little easier. 
I'm going to get these written down. I actually realized that I had this with my Christmas yarn, but this is Tia's Terrific Threads and I smell snow. So I'm going to move this over there, add it to one of the pages and move it over there. And we are headed off to the movies. We're going to go see the Wonka movie. So I'll probably be knitting on Simon's Muscle Borrow hat while we're there. And then when I get home, it would be really nice. If I could finish Lorenzo's socks tonight, because I'm like less than 10 rows from the toe of the second sock. So yeah, not that far. All right, let's get these written down, add it in, let's go to the movies. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to organize your yarn or give you an idea of how you could organize your yarn. Um, if you have any questions about organizing or if you um, want to like ask questions about something that I did or my process or whatever, please just leave a comment down below. Leave me a comment down below about the scraps because I have no clue what to do with my like bits and bobs of yarn. That's like a big question mark for me. Yeah, so this feels really good. <laughs> I'm glad to have gotten this at least this project at least started. I didn't get all the yarn done. I got most of it done. So, thank you so much for watching. Happy knitting!